how to add people to folders on Google Drive. So obviously you want to go to the website and here you can see on the website I am currently in the home folder. In the home folder you will generally see suggested files and folders or anything that you have frequently or recently opened or added. So let's say I have this untitled document that I had made for reference. So in this I can go click on the three dots and then click on share. If I click on share, I can then type in an email address. So if you have sent an email or communicated with the particular email address, it will automatically pop up. If you haven't, you can just write an email from scratch. So here you can see I've added an email, selected it and then on the right side here you can see I can have them be a viewer, a commenter or editor. I Let's say I want to give them a viewer access. I can notify them. This will generally happen through an email. If they have the Google Drive app, they'll also get a notification saying, hey, this person has sent you. They'll generally also get a notification on the Google Drive app if they have it on their phone as well. And it will say, hey, this person has, uh, you know, shared this file with you. You can just check it out as well. And then you can type in a message and click on send. You can also copy the link to the certain file and click on send and they will also have the viewer access. And if I click send, they will automatically be added to it. Because I am on a company email address currently, this will say, do you want to share this uh, with this particular person because they are out of the company. Uh, I'll just click on share anyway. And then send. And it is shared. So another way of doing this is when you create a new file. Let's say I've created this new file, untitled document. I'll just rename this to my text station and then over here I can click on the right top corner and click on share and again you follow the same process I'll type in their email if I want to send a message subscribe that applies to you as well and hit send again the same message pops up that's fine share anyway and access has been updated. So here you can see access is updated. If I click on share again, and it will show you all the people that have access to this particular document. And that is how easy it is. If you want to change the type of access they have, so it could be editor, commenter, or viewer, I can have them be just a commenter and save, and it will update the access about that as well. So if you like the video, do drop a like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next.